everybody, it is Maggie, and like my little introduction said, I am going to be introducing a new challenge that I set for myself, which is to read my entire bookshelf. Um, and why did I make this challenge? Well, I realized that I needed to reorganize my bookshelf um, because it just kind of turned into a mess over the years. Um, and when I moved, I kind of just threw all my books on my bookshelf without really um, thinking about the order or anything. And while I thought about reorganizing my bookshelf, I thought so many of these books I've had for years and I have never read them. And I thought, why would I want to keep books that I have never read and I don't even know if I like? and instead I can make space for new books. Also, my count is a little bit off because I realized afterwards that I have three copies of Turtles All The Way Down um, because I love that John Green book. Um, so my count's a little off there. So at the end of this, I am going to probably have a lot more space on my bookshelf. Um, and if not, if I do like the book, then it will stay on my bookshelf and um, then I'll organize from there. I haven't decided how I'm going to organize yet. Um, I'm tempted to organize in order of like my favorite from my least favorite. Right now, I kind of have an organization in that the top shelf of my bookshelf is all um, like novels that really mean a lot to me. So either novels that my husband bought for me, novels where I actually met the author and, and got their book autographed. So I have like um, the Outsiders, I met Essie Hinton, um, Angie Thomas, um, who wrote The Hate You Give, I met her. So those books like mean a lot to me. Um, so they stay on the top shelf. I don't know why, I just feel like they're safest there. I don't really have a strategy for this like challenge, I guess. I'm just gonna pick out um, a stack of books to read. So let's get into it. The first book I am going to read is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I started this book, I think junior year of college, and I lent it to a friend, and then I never got around to reading it. It's a really quick read, so I don't think it's gonna take me that long to get through. It's gonna be really heavy and hard to read, I think, for me, especially right now in these times. Um, but I'm very excited to be reading this. Um, I will let you guys know what I think of it. So this is the first book I plan to read. The second book um, on my list is The Lightning Thief. Um, full disclosure, I have read The Lightning Thief before, um, but it was in middle school and I wasn't really into it. So I want to give it a second chance because I feel like um, at the time where I read it, I didn't really, I wasn't really invested in it. I had just read Harry Potter and it was a lot different than Harry Potter, so I'm going to give it a second try. The third book that I am going to be reading from my bookshelf is Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I really can't believe that I've never read this Vonnegut novel because it's just one of the most famous ones. I've read a couple of other ones. Um, I am going to be slaughtered. Haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to be slaughtered, but I can't remember the name. It's the one with Ice Nine, um, and then I've read Cat's Cradle. Hey Maggie, um, Cat's Cradle is the one with Ice Nine. You are so dumb. <laughs> Carry on. So I really can't believe that I'm a lit minor. Um, I, I minored in literature in undergrad and I haven't read um, this book, but I'm really excited because I do like Vonnegut and his style. So I will let you guys know. Um, yeah, okay. The fourth book I will be reading is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank, Hank Green. I read this book, I started it in 2018 and you can see I got about halfway through it. And for some reason, I think I got busy like reading books for school. Um, and so I didn't finish it. So I am going to start it over because 2018, um, that's, I, I mean, I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of the story. Um, and so I really want to get the whole story and do the whole book justice. I'm really disappointed in myself that I haven't read this um, sooner. Um, I even tweeted at Hank Green when I was reading this and he liked my tweet. So I just feel like, a, I feel like that's a betrayal. Um, so yeah, this is the 
fourth book that I am going to be reading. The fourth book that I'll be reading is A Boy Snowbird. I honestly like have no idea what this book is about, honestly. Um, but I kind of like going into books blind. I think this is gonna be a really interesting book. I got it for free at um, my old workplace and I just haven't gotten around to reading it, but I love the cover. Like, look how cool this cover looks. Like, it's just really, really cool. So um, I am excited to give this one a read. And then last but absolutely not least is going to be The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Um, this is also another one that I started and I didn't finish it. I think I only got a few chapters in, but I remember really, really liking it. I specifically remember um, the, the thug metaphor and being really frustrated when I saw um, specifically white educators when they would put like the hate you give on a syllabus um or for their class reading list they would write out you and i would kind of be like that is kind of a microaggression if you really think about it um so that would really frustrate me so i know that i've started reading this um but i just didn't finish it not because i didn't like it i think again it was probably just a situation where um, I got busy with school and I had to do my assigned readings for school and then by the time that I was done with those I was too tired for pleasure reading. If you're a college student or if you're um, a student who has assigned readings you understand. So these are the six books from my bookshelf that I will be reading. As you can see, it is quite the stack, at least for me. I am also reading um, The Book Thief currently. Again, can't believe I've never read this book. So good, beautiful prose. I am on page 336 and I anticipate finishing this book within the next couple of days. The other book that I'm reading is Before I Fall. I'm just going to show you it on my Kindle because I'm too lazy to go through when editing and add it in, but it's a young adult novel about a girl who um, dies in a car accident and then relives that day over and over again. Um, and I've also read that book before, but it was literally in middle school which as I'm reading it now as an adult, I'm like, this is a little intense for a middle school read. I think it's technically young adult, um, but yeah, it's a little intense. Um, so I hope that you guys look forward to visiting. I hope that you guys look forward to um, coming along with me on this journey to read my entire bookshelf. I am really excited, but also kind of nervous, um, but we will see how I do and how many books end up staying on my bookshelf. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next time and goodbye.